Tell us, Zina, the floor is yours. Thank you, teacher. So first of all, I want to say, before I start, I want to emphasize that I think motivation is as much important as discipline, that's for sure. They are both like a necessity to succeed in life. But when it comes to which one should come first, well, I would say motivation. And the first reason is because motivation is a sentiment, it's a feeling, and discipline is an action. So if you want to talk like about the starting point, I would say um, it's the feeling, and after that, the action comes. But the problem is that like some people start with the feeling, but then just stop there. They don't like, um, they're just say in their little fantasy um, and don't like take um, the action. They don't, um, they will not be disciplined after that. That is why like um, I started with saying that discipline is as important um, as motivation because it's the one that completes, um, discipline is the one that completes that motivation, those feelings. But some people may say that motivation is something abstract. The di discipline is what's real, is what really represents our acts. But that idea may be wrong because if you are psychically convinced that something great is going to happen to you, that it will. Actually, there is a law. It's called the, the law of attraction. And they say that if you believe something great will happen to you, or if you're scared of something and you start thinking about it too much, you start thinking it's going to happen to you, then it will. Because like some psychologists say that it's like you're fooling your mind your mind starts believing that lie because you start thinking about it a lot and then like your mind it's just like starts believing that lie then automatically it will happen to you they also like um recommend uh, like uh, personal coaches and psychologists they recommend their patients like to every time they have something um, that's happening in their life, either, they're, either if it's like, I don't know, a huge exam or um, if they have a job or something like really important, they can they, they um, advise them the night before to start sit, telling themselves that um, tomorrow I'm going to be great. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to have this and imagine the exact same scenario. Like, for example, they're going to imagine how the paper will be, the, what the questions will be, what the people, how the people are going to be. And automatically, uh, just like I said before, their mind will believe that lie. And tomorrow and when they go, it's like they're going to pass the exam really easily without any stress. And yeah, uh, that's, the idea that's what I wanted to say about the motion and like as an example if we take an example of someone that's a uh, discipline but has no motivation and for example if they go to work yes they're always early they're always at time they always uh give their statements at time they're never late they do the job but I don't know um what if they have no motivation to work what if they have like no motive to be going to work or to achieve their goals or being the best version of themselves or improving themselves in like um in all the ways in general that's what's even like what's even the point of being disciplined if you don't have motivation but in the other side a person who's motivated would like never give up on their goals who require discipline which means they will always be disciplined that's like basically why I think I think uh, motivation motivation should always come for, should always come first in order for that discipline uh, to be present and yeah that's it. Thank you very much, Lella Zinev. It is just amazing to listen and to watch you analyzing. Okay, this uh, this concept in, in a very exceptional way. I like it so so much, and I, I believe that nobody uh, was disconnected. If one is, all of us who are watching and following our friend that is analyzing her point of view. Thank you very much, that is enough. So I see a lot of hands are already up. So uh, I follow the order, Ikhwani. So Sir Mohammed Sinan is number one. Uh, number two, Lala Hajar. Number three is Mr. Muad. Number four is Mr. Ayman. I'm sorry, Ikhwani, I'm following the order that I have on my screen. Okay, Steve Mohammed, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Chisho. So, um, before starting this, you know, this whole story of motivation and discipline, um, I want to start by, you know, I don't know if you know the author, um, Stephen Bresfeld. So, 
um, this author Stephen Pressfield, he was kind of like person that, like, he like he he couldn't like sit down and work. Like he was suffering from a hell of procrastination. Like he was procrastinating a lot. Um, so what he did one year, he decided that he will go to like, like an isolated place, like maybe in a mountain, and he will sit there and write his first book. And he was not allowed. To get to get back, you know, to get back to to his home before like publishing his first book, like so he sat there for one year, like like without any motivation, but he tried to be disciplined, and you know, of of course, you know, um, after, after you know, at the end of the year, of course, he he published his, his book, the art, the door of art, so. I think like the first thing that we need to know is what's the meaning of motivation. So um, I will give uh, a psychological definition. So the term motivation describes why a person does something as the driving force behind the human actions. Motivation is the process that initiates, gets, gets and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. So I will be back to this definition. Um, I think like when speaking about motivation and discipline, we need to add like another thing, which is procrastination. So I can give it like in one sentence, procrastination is like our enemy in life. You know, sometimes like you feel like you have work to do and you know it's important and you need to finish it. But even if that, you know, like you feel that it's really important, but you don't have that, you know, motivation to do this work. So. That's what we call the resistance. So, you know, whenever you want to accomplish task, you're, you face this head of resistance. And there's a nice quote from the book where, where he said, like, we don't tell ourselves, I'm never going to, to write my symphony. Instead, we say, I'm going, to, I'm going to write my symphony. I'm just going to start tomorrow. So, you know, that's, that's the Moroccan culture in one sentence. So, like... I think like, you know, mo moving from motivation to discipline is like about in the, ident identifying your, your enemy, which is like procrastination. So going back to Zainab's uh, point, like here is the really interesting part about motivation and discipline. So I think the first thing, the thing that comes first is discipline. Then when you're disciplined, you will do the action. And when you will do the action, you will feel you will feel motivated. And when you feel motivated, you will do more actions. And you know the ways go move moves on. So, so we have this myth of like motivation because motivation comes after doing a work, not before doing a work. Comes, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Motivation comes after accomplishing your work, not before you know doing something. So. To, to get motivated, motivate, it's not getting it at the first time, but it's about after doing your work. Uh, because, you know, like I saw something which is like in one hour of three of our time, we're motivated. And in the two hour of three, we're not motivated. So I think like in this two out of three, we need discipline. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, you still remember the definition of motivation that I give you. Uh, I will repeat it. So the term motivation describes why a person does something. It's the driving force behind human actions. Motivation is the process that initiates, gets, and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. So like there is like some terms that we need to speak about. And I think the, the two important ones are the driving force and the goal. So like if you want to be motivated about doing something, you need to have that something that you need to be motivated about. You know, you need to have like a goal, a goal that, that you need to work on. Like, um, like now I have like a video of 15 minutes that I need to edit, prepare the thumbnail, you know, a lot of stuff. But I have in my mind like a vision, like a goal. That's what will motivate me to, to do this, you know, to do this, 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 this thing. But sometimes you don't have this motivation. So at this moment, you need to be disciplined about this thing. And that's the difference between a professional person and the amateur. It's not you know, about the work, you know, a doctor and engineer, but it's about 
about like like if you're disciplined or, or no. And if you're disciplined, you need to be sure that you will accomplish a lot of things in your life. So in my opinion, discipline, then doing the work, then you will get motivated. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Muhammad, future doctor. Tabarakallah, mashallah. A wonderful analysis, very convincing, very strong. Tabarakallah. So I'm, I'm not going to say the floor is yours, my friend. Um, so um, I want to start by, you know, giving a, um, a small, uh, a brief uh, reflection on, uh, on uh, what we say. Um, the doctor, uh, he went, you know, really deeply on philosophy, and uh, his name is uh, Freud. I don't know if you know, you did, uh, you did uh, know, know something about him, but you know, he's really famous, and uh, he spoke about, you know, the uh, the mind of you know human being, and he said that he's composed of three parts. It's composed of you know the ego, the super ego, and the IT, something called the IT. Now, so you know, focus on the IT. So let's start about you know uh, and about the IT. You know, this group it's simple. It's so simple. We should answer and understand this. Normally, it's the basic things that what, what human being needs. When you are hungry, you know, you want. Uh, your audio, your audio, Simon. The last uh, few seconds, Simon. Your audio, please, my friend. Your audio will be little. Uh, we missed the last uh, five to ten seconds. No, it is off. Will they? Can you turn it on? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Uh, just repeat. The, just the last idea. Oh. Uh, so I said. Composed of three parts. I said the ego, the super, the super ego, and the IT. So you know we need to have a brief, you know, reflection on you know what's called the IT. So when a child is born, he cries and he feels pains. You know he weeps when he is angry, and these traits are innate, not cultivated, but it's innate, and you know it's common things, qualities on you know a human being. Innate means you know means inborn traits. So as the child grows, we need, you know, we, we are learning uh, to uh, control in our feelings and, you know, of pain. So once we learn this, when we, when we, you know, when we cry, when we are hanged, we don't cry. And when we feel pain, we also don't cry. Instead of this, we can, you know, search for, some, some, for something to eat or we can seek for the relief of our pain. So this is the self-control. Or you know what we can call you know uh, discipline. What we are learning. So for learning discipline, because sometimes people say discipline it's something innate and it's not cultivated. The others say it's cultivated, but it's not innate. I personally think it's, this is something cultivated. We cannot have you know someone you know yeah and a baby is disciplined. It's something that we learn in our daily life. So to learn discipline. You need motivation also. So to learn discipline that we are speaking about, we, we, we need motivation. Motivation, this is a lot of energy, you know, that, you know, makes you feel excited. And I'm sure that motivation is also a temporary phenomenon. Motivation also will fill you at a certain time, a certain age, a certain point of life. So do not just rely on it, you know, just long. Do not trust, you know, your motivation, because this we we, we are speaking about certain amount of energy. And human being, you no, know, we can lose energy. Sometimes we are not motivated, and you know this. Sometimes we are not, you know, in the mood to study, and you know we are not in the mood to study. But we have this clear image of what you know of our goal, what we want to do, and our purpose. Normally, all starts from motivation. Because if you want to achieve greatness, you need to stop asking for permission. And this is the point. This is why motivation, it is so important in our life. 
because it stops asking questions and aligns and aligns you to work and to you know fill forward. I just want to give you sort an example. Just you know when you are moving from the part of motivation, just you have a certain amount of energy and don't dep- I just want to say for you guys don't depend on this certain amount of energy. Uh, I will give you, you know, a brief example. Think about the last time you started a new job. You know, as students, we did projects, and this is common in our classes. And you were probably, you know, so excited in the, the first day, first week, second week, third week. But, you know, think about it. Is this motivation will last? And in a certain point of your life, this motivation gets the ball rolling and it allows you to, you know, dive head first into a new project and also with a mass amount of energy. The problem is that this, you know, this first energy that you had from the first time will not be enough to keep you move forward and doing when you are, you know, confronting a lot of problems in your life. So I just want to say that, you know, uh, we should also understand something in our life that failing is not it's said you know it's a closer to success and we should understand this mindset because this is the mindset of a disciplined person when we speak about this a disciplined person he cannot say the success comes from the first time he's trying he's trying he's trying again and again and again then Hopefully, you will see the success in your life. And uh, also, like, you know, as, as you, you have an idea of Thomas Edison, that, you know, conducted 1,000 times, and the 1,001st was a light bulb. So this is a disciplined person, not a motivational one. Motivational person, when someone has the motivation, he will not try 1,000 times. Just think about it. Think about this number, this huge number. Motivation in realize that's 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. And for sure, if you don't see the results, if you don't yield some new results, and as human beings, we need to see results, you will lack of energy. And then discipline comes. And also, I want to say is, you know, make, you know, motivation creates, you know, habits. When I speak about habits, you know, it gives you the potential to uh, reach your goal. I just want to say something. Habits also create routines. Routines is what you depend on in your daily life. This is, you know, this is what we create. It can be probably negative, it can be probably positive, but we hopefully, you know, we hopefully see the positive side. So routines create who you really are. So the whole, our whole life is programmed. First comes the motivation. Secondly, you have a second step, discipline. The discipline, it's a discipline that requires a lot of you know, wisdom. I say it requires a lot of wisdom and a lot of efforts. So it's not, you know, overnight you can learn, uh, you know, discipline. So all the people are disciplined. Like Simon Sina said, not all the people are successful. And he gave us an example, concrete example, and you know, it was something, you know, it qualifies the image what, that what I want to say. And for sure, the discipline will last, you know, over and over, years and years, and then you will hopefully see, you know, the, the, the success in your life. Thank you, see, amen. Thank you, Mr. Philosopher, Mr. Psychologist, Mr. Coach. Thank you very much.